there is several ways of working out what an amplifier's power output is in watts. Uh, the simplest is uh, the power law P equals E times I. So that's your voltage, peak to peak, times the current draw. So in this instance, I have chosen 48 volts, peak to peak, and 1.5 current draw. That equals 72 watts. The more complicated way of doing it is if you don't know what the current draw is, but you know what the load, the resistance is, you can use V peak, which is different to peak to peak. Peak to peak is you've got your zero line, and there's your AC waveform. Peak to peak is from here to here, so that's from there to there. V peak, on the other hand, is from the zero line to the peak, or it could be to the negative peak, but it doesn't really matter. If it's a sinusoidal waveform and they're equal on both sides of the zero line, you can use either. So in other words, it's half the peak to peak voltage. So that gives us a um, voltage of uh, 24 volts. So the V peak, I'll just write V peak, is 24 volt. That just keeps the math a little bit more simple. Now, the way you work out the power is you take the V peak, 24 volt, times it by itself. So that's V peak 24 to the power of 2. So 24 times 24, which equals 576, divided by your uh, resistance, which is 8 ohms, equals 72 watts. So you can use this to work out what either one actually, you could use either one of these to work out what your wattage is. This is if you know the current, this is if you know the resistance. Well you should know the resistance but don't know the current. You can always measure the current but either of these will work. But you've got to remember in this peak one you've got to use V peak or half peak to peak. You cannot use peak to peak. It has to be half of it. Now down the bottom here we've got something known as RMS which is, well, uh, in the electronics industry, to a lot of people, is a mythical value of measurement. However, to calculate that, you take your V peak again, which is 24 volt, divide it by 1.414. Now, that is an interesting number. That's the same number we use to calculate AC to DC voltage through a bridge rectifier. Isn't that funny? It's the same figure. Anyway, it's V peak divided by 1.414, or to make it even simpler, just 1.4, to the power of 2. So that's this result times this result. So it's multiplying that against itself. So, and then dividing it by the resistance as we did in the uh, peak example. So V peak uh, divided by 1.414 is 16.973 which to the power of 2 or 16.973 times itself is 288.08 divided by the resistance which is 8 gives us 36 watts RMS. Really realistically RMS you shouldn't really ever have to use. What is more important is the peak voltages.